Hey, good afternoon. This is Brian over at Consign Pro, and we've got a request to put together a webinar on one of our least utilized features in the software, uh, but one of the most powerful ones that we have. Uh, it's the, your ability to access all of our report and tag and label designs uh, and edit those designs yourself via a tool called Crystal Reports. Uh, so what I'd like to do now is take you through our Crystal Reports editor and show you how to download it and show you how to edit or modify any of our reports, tags, or label designs. The first thing I need to do is go out to our website. On our website under Support, General Info, if you scroll down this page just a little bit, that's at consignpro.com, you're going to see three options here under Utility Downloads. You're going to see our Crystal Reports Editor 4.6. That's the tool that you're actually going to use to edit tag and label designs or report designs. You want to make sure you download and install that onto any Windows computer. It doesn't matter which one, any one will do. The second um, Crystal option is Crystal Readme. That is a PDF guide that gives you tips on how to use the Crystal Reports Editor. The third option for Crystal is our Crystal Tag Names spreadsheet we put together. We've got about 25 different um, tag and label designs in Consign Pro. And this spreadsheet will help you figure out uh, which one of those uh, tag or label files you would want to edit so that the changes that you make are reflected on the tag design that you're using. Uh, if you go to Maintain, Store, Customize, CP in Consign Pro, we've got a box. It says Label Tag Style. And if you go into this spreadsheet, you'll see uh, your label tag style somewhere in that spreadsheet with the corresponding uh, report file name that goes with that. So you might want to take a look at that spreadsheet. I've already got Crystal Reports Editor installed on my computer, obviously, so I'm going to minimize this, and I'm going to open up my Crystal Reports Editor, put a little shortcut to it on my desktop. That looks like it's already open, and here it is down at the bottom. All right, so this is my Crystal Reports Editor. It looks a lot like any other Windows-based uh, program that you might be using. You might be familiar with Microsoft Word. Uh, this isn't that different from Microsoft Word. It's a little bit more programmy uh, than Microsoft Word, but still many of our customers will be able to uh, do what they want in terms of modifying a tag or label design. I'm going to click Open up here at the top, and that's going to open up a little dialog box. I'm going to double-click on my C drive. I'm going to go down to Program Files x86, and I'm going to go into the Consign Pro folder. This would be the same location on your computer for your tag and labels designs uh, as it is on mine. I'm going to scroll down here. I, let's pretend I looked in that spreadsheet and found out that the tag design that I want to modify for my particular tag and label is this lab2722n.rpt file. If, by the way, you can't find your tag or label design based on that spreadsheet, or maybe there's a report that you want to remove some wording on or change some fonts or anything like that, let me know the name of the tag uh, style that you use or the name of the report you're looking for. Uh, just email me, brian at consignpro.com, and I will get you on track to knowing exactly uh, what report or tag file you should be working with. Incidentally, if you mess up completely and you save your design and it looks worse than it did to begin with, uh, you can always install an update, and that update will put our uh, default design back onto your computer. Uh, so there's really no harm uh, in trying to work with these. Uh, we can always uh, replace your design with our design at any time. I'm going to click OK. It says my printer is not installed. That's not a big deal. Uh, this right now looks like a tag and label that I'm familiar with. If I hit the, this, we're in design mode here. You'll notice in the top left corner we've got design and preview mode. I'm in design mode, uh, which is giving me something that looks kind of funny. I'm going to go over to preview mode. The database has changed. Proceed to fix up the report. I'm going to say no to these questions. Uh, here we go. These are a tag design that I'm a little bit more familiar with here. Uh, these look like actual tags that might pop out on my Zebra printer. Uh, this is a Zebra printer design for our two up tags that pop out two at a time. And they look very familiar to me on the screen because that's what I see every day uh, when I print tags. I'm going to go back to my design mode, and I'm going to show you how you can easily remove or rearrange things on this tag. If 
If I wanted to change the wording, thank you for shopping with us, come again, uh, I can right-click on it and edit the text field, change the font, change the format, change the borders or colors. I don't like thank you for shopping with us. I want to say something else. So I'm going to click on edit text field. And here I can say, just simply please come again. And I'm going to accept that. And there it is. Please come again. I'd like that to be a little bit bigger and centered. Um, so I'm going to right click on it, go to change font. I'm going to say, let's make it an 11 point bold font. It's bigger. I'm going to shrink that field up with a little dragger here so that it fits on one tag. I'm going to right click on it, go to change format. I want that centered. So I'm going to change the alignment to centered under my format option. There we go. That's how easy it is to change a field. If you wanted to delete this, by the way, you could just click on it and press the delete key on your keyboard. And now it will not say, thank you for shopping with us. Please come again. You can move field or fields around. You want to move this down a line, move this down a line, move this down a line, maybe move this over, maybe make this field bigger because your field isn't fitting on there. Um, you can change the name of, or font of your store name. This, by the way, is store name. How do I know that? So first of all, looking at your tags every day, you notice store name is at the top, so you'd know that. But if you didn't, you could look right at the bottom of the screen here, and hopefully you can all see this. Store.StoreName appears down here at the bottom. Okay. As I click on each one of these fields, it tells me this is from the merchandise table. It's a field called product type. You're familiar with the type on our add inventory screen. Next field down, product description. Then we've got a product color. Then we've got a product size. Okay, So you can move these fields around. You can add fields to this. If you wanted to add a new field, we can shrink this field up to give us a little white space here. I'm going to go up top, insert database field. It's opening up my inventory or merchandise table on the database. I want the original price included. Okay, that's the price the item came first into your store at. I'm going to click the insert button, and I'm going to drop this original price right here. I'm going to shrink it up so that it fits nicely in my open white space. And maybe I want to do this. Maybe I want to, let's get rid of the type. Let's move the original price over. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And I believe we're using an Arial font on this, Arial Bold, 12 point. Oh, too big. It's actually bigger than the rest of the fonts on the screen. So I'm going to right-click on it, change font. Let's go down to like a 10-point font. Maybe that's what it was. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Okay. I'm going to right-click. I'm going to left justify this so that I know where the left-hand part of it is. Now I'm going to insert a text field here called original price. That's another thing we can insert. We can insert a text field. And I'm going to stick original price right here. Okay, line it up nice. Okay. Let's go to my preview, out of design mode into preview mode. I'm going to click no again on these two questions. You can click yes or no. Now you see I have original price $10. Okay. I'm going to right click on this original price. You can do your editing here in preview mode as well. And I'm going to make this the same font as the rest of the fonts just so it looks cool to my customers. I think it's a 10 point bold. I'm going to say yes to this so it stops bothering me. Looks like that got a little bigger, so I'm going to move this over, adjust it so that it looks real nice. Move this over maybe a little bit. Move this over. So you can adjust and play with things here. Um, original price on this now, $10. Let's move it over. So you can do whatever you'd like. Uh, if you're wondering, hey, I know there's a field on the database for this because it's on the Add Inventory screen, but I'm not sure what Brian called it on the database, is when I click Insert Database Field, can't really find it in this list. Okay, none of these doesn't jump out at me. So if you have a field and you're wondering, you want to put it on the tag or label or into a report, you don't see it or you can't figure out which one it is. We tried to use descriptive names, but again, some of these are programmer names, right? Because we only expect programmers to kind of look at this stuff. Um, let me know what field you're looking for. Send me an email note. I can let you know what report you're looking for, what field you're looking for, and then you can modify that yourself. 
if you if it, all of this is above and beyond you and you say, you know what, Brian, this is a great tool. I get why some people would love it, but it's just not for me. You can let us know that too. Uh, we do have some uh, design services here. Uh, we generally charge about $50 for a design change uh, in the software. Many store owners, I think, will be able to use this to accomplish some minimum minimal objectives, moving things around, changing fonts, adding new fields even. Uh, you should be able to kind of do all of those things by the end of this webinar. If you're not, don't feel discouraged. Uh, if you've got a really pressing need, uh, we can make those changes here. Um, I would not get into under right-click format section. I would not, I'm sorry, right-click label layout. Please don't change any of our margins in here or any of this stuff because that's going to uh, not allow your tags to print correctly in your software. Uh, if I didn't mention it already, if you mess this up so bad, just let us know. We can get you back to what the default design was. Um, but it's a pretty cool little tool. It's called the Crystal Reports Editor. Uh, I'm going to open up my consigner contract here, and I'll show you that's just a report file like all the tag files. And here it is. Here's your consigner contract. Hey, Brian, I don't want any of this end date information on my contract. Click, delete. Click, delete, click, delete. See how easy this is to delete things? It's real easy to add things. It's a little bit trickier, but not impossible. Uh, you can insert things like database fields, text fields, formula fields, uh, lines, boxes, pictures. I've never done pictures before. Lines we do all the time, boxes we do sometimes. Uh, but that's it. You can go to preview mode. And you can see I just removed at the top right corner of this contract. Those fields are now gone. So you can insert your own wording at the top. Um, you can say, hey, my contract doesn't fit. I wonder if I made this contract line a little bit smaller. I'm going to right-click on it, go to change font. I bet if it's just a few lines hanging on to page two, right? Maybe if I make this font a size 11 and I pull the line out here a little bit more, Maybe my contract will all fit on one page now. Okay, so you can play with this stuff. Uh, you can edit any of the reports or uh, tag or label designs at any time. Save your changes. Go into Consign Pro. Run a test. See how it looks. Did I make it better? Did I make it worse? If I made it worse, you simply come back into your editor and you say, you know what? 11 point almost gets me there. Let's try 10 point. Right-click Change Font. Click it to 10 points. Ah, there we go. I got a smaller font. Let's drag the line out. Okay, that ooh, I just it looks like it moved it rather than dragged it out. Let's try to grab that end thing, drag it out there, and there we go. Now I've got a 10 point uh, body of my contract. I bet my second page falls down to one page. Or I don't like terms of contract. I can right click on this. I can say I get rid of that. What you agreed to, agree to instead, right, with a, maybe a colon after it so it looks pretty. What you agree to, okay? So another important thing is as you change your designs, it's important to save those new report files uh, to someplace else besides the Consign Pro folder. Maybe right-click on them and paste them also do it right click and copy and paste those onto your desktop. Why is that important? It's important because if you ever apply an update to your system, what happens is your beautiful designs get overlaid with our default designs. So you'll want to save your work not only back into the Consign Pro folder so that Consign Pro can find it, but you'll also want to save those report files. Maybe you create another folder called custom work. Maybe you just cut, copy and paste those onto your Windows desktop. I would suggest a custom folder. Maybe you could create a custom folder in your Consign Pro folder and copy your designs into that folder as well. Anytime you apply the update, all you need to do is go into that custom folder, copy your designs, and paste those back into the Consign Pro folder. You'll overlay our default designs with the nice designs that you've put together. So that's about it. When you're done, click Save. I'm going to click, uh, I'm gonna close, click the Close button up here. I'm not going to save this because I don't want these changes to apply to Consign Pro. This was just for demonstration purposes. 
And that is our Crystal Reports editor. There's a lot of great tools in here that I have not covered. This is not meant to be a, a Crystal Reports uh, class, if you will, on how to learn all of the different features of Crystal. Under Help, they've got a Contents here. You can go into Contents. Uh, I don't know what this is going to show you because I've never seen it before. Uh, feature not included. Okay, maybe don't click that. You may want to go uh, and on our website, on our support page, we've got that. Let's go back there. Uh, let's go my web browser. Let's go to the Crystal Readme or Crystal Reports Readme right here. Aha. Uh -huh. So, interestingly, I forgot that I did this. Uh, here is a kind of little Readme on what I'm presenting today. Okay. Uh, it is um, kind of what we're going over today in Word document form. Uh, I would suggest uh, kind of taking a look at this. There's some good information here. I must have done this years ago because, honestly, I can't remember putting that together. Uh, but the README is good. Crystal tag names, let's pop in there. Let's go to Excel. This, as I mentioned, should be a cross-reference between what we call the tag or label in Consign Pro with what the corresponding report file name is. Okay, so here we go. Uh, zebra tags, Liberty style combo. Uh, it's going to be one of these three, depending on whether I'm using the Zebra 2824 or Z Designer 2824 or the Zebra 2824. If you're confused about which design to use, just let me know. But they're all listed in here. And we've got some tips down here at the bottom. Uh, so kind of take a peek through there. Again, if you can't find your tag or label design in here, or it gives you three options and you're not sure which one, which report file to modify, uh, just let us know. Brian at consignpro.com. Happy to answer those questions for you at any time. Okay. So that is our Crystal Reports editor. It's uh, it's not hard. It's not easy. It's somewhere in between. Uh, I think a lot of people can benefit from uh, using or looking at this webinar, listening to this webinar. Um, again, if this is over your head, that's fine. Um, it does require a little bit of creative or programming knowledge to use, uh, but not a ton. So that's why I presented it today. If you have any other questions, brian at consignpro.com. You know I'm always here. Just drop me a quick uh, email. I can get back to you. Thank you. Have a great day.